Well, in weather here in the First Alert Weather Center, we start with what is most important to you, and I think it's this by far. Early Friday morning or very late Thursday night, either way you want to look at it, strong winds will come through the area. 60 mile per hour gusts are going to be a possibility now. That is strong enough uh, for a thunderstorm to produce a severe thunderstorm warning, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the environmental wind over a great area, and this is the kind of thing that can cause power outages from down tree limbs, down power lines, and certainly will be dangerous travel for high profile vehicles. Talking about big tractor trailers, they can be knocked over in a wind like this very easily, and that is a possibility very early on Friday morning. Here's what we're looking at tomorrow. Rain comes in in the afternoon, and then late tomorrow night is when the possibility of damaging winds will take place. Let's rewind to the current time. It's around 70 degrees across the metro area, a bit windy as we expected, and 73 is actually the highest report we have coming in from the area right now, and it's Port Clinton. A south wind is blowing the warmer weather right up to the lake shore. And here you can see some of the latest wind reports, including 25 miles per hour in Wauseon, 22 in Toledo. Those aren't gusts. Those are the sustained winds across the area right now. There have been a couple of uh, very quick hitting light showers across the area today. And there may be another one this evening before this comes to an end. But let's uh, get the clock running and focus in on tomorrow, Thursday. Really quiet start to the day. And as the day wears on, the sky will cloud up. The wind will shift and start coming in off of the lake and bay during the afternoon and a chance of rain will move in. Now here's four o'clock. It's overcast and our hour by hour forecast doesn't have the rain here quite yet, but any time from three or four and on the chance of rain will move in from the south. There's the breeze picking up into Thursday night out of the east, but watch what happens here and keep your eyes on this low pressure area over in western Indiana. This is two o'clock in the morning, so very late Thursday night into Friday morning. The arrows indicate wind direction and speed. And as this low pressure area comes across lower Michigan, did you see the wind shift very quickly? And that's when I think the winds will be at their strongest. The rest of Friday will remain very breezy and it will turn out to be a much cooler day. Here are the winds again starting Thursday night, tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. These are wind gusts and overnight into Friday morning. 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m. That's when the strongest wind will come through the area. So it's going to end up being very, very early in the day on Friday. Tonight, partly cloudy. It'll be mild with a low of 46. The wind's going to settle down overnight. And tomorrow, rain becomes likely in the afternoon. Heading into the night is when it will become very windy. A high tomorrow hits 62. And then after damaging winds possible early on Friday, a dry day can be expected. And a high temperature Friday will hit 54 degrees. Here's our extended Saturday and Sunday, a chance of rain Saturday and dry Sunday. No big changes, a little bit of adjustments on temperatures, but should be a halfway decent weekend. And out later in our extended forecast next week, a couple of highs that could touch 70 degrees. But again, Melissa, I want to tell you Friday we have an alert day up, but it's for very early in the day and then we'll likely drop it by around 8 a.m.